Welcome back, you dedicated rum fans. Oh, this is such a delicious uh, cocktail. This is the plantation follow-up uh, to the Trade Winds cocktail. And again, you know, there's so many flipping conversa conversations, combinations that we could have done. So what I've done in this video, all these cocktails here uh, have got OFTD as the base. So that is the dark category five uh, Smuggler's Cove. And then we've kind of made all these um, with all these rums as that. So we've got a split base there. So where do we go from here? Look, I'll be honest, um, there's a couple of rums for me that do kind of shine, but I prefer the cocktails in the other video, but there is a caveat. So the combinations I do prefer in, in here, um, for some reason, the Plantation Three Stars smashes it with that, it is head and shoulders above the OD in this cocktail. It just gives it something extra. Uh, I love the cane rock. I love the, the sort of spiced one. You don't really get the coconutty rum, but the, there is, I dare say, the finish of this cocktail, if that wasn't the coconut rum in it, it would just be something completely different. It's weird. You can't pick the coconut of the rum, but you know it adds to this drink. It's just delicious. It's a fantastic, fantastic combination. And again, I'm going to Fiji. I, I'm absolutely going to Fiji. So... If I'm using a plantation blend, I'm going OFTD with either the three stars, uh, the Fiji, or the Cane Rock. Now, I want to focus on the, the Stiggins Fancy, the pineapple here. This gives it a very different kind of vibe to uh, what I've made previously. Because of that pineapple flavor, it, it transforms the cocktail. Now, I do prefer the, where I was in the previous video on the main channel, the sort of the um, the pusses and the sort of Jamaican-y funky white rums up this end of the video. I prefer that. That's why I do that. However, what I'm trying to say, that gives it a completely different twist. It's not the same cocktail by any stretch of the imagination. It, it is a completely different. Apricot and pineapple, you know works well. Apricot, uh, pineapple and coconut, you know works well. It's a phenomenal, ph phenomenal cocktail, but it's just a completely different vibe. So I've done something unprecedented in this plantation video. No, and there's just one thing I want to add there. Zy Maca. I do really enjoy that combination, OFTD and Zy Maca. For some reason, it's just not as good as the white rum variants. And I don't, I can't understand why in my own head. I can't get it through my head. Maybe it's the extra aging. Maybe it's all that. Maybe it does need that light, unaged quality in the rum. I, I, I don't physically compute it. That can be the only thing. For some reason, the coconut vibes and the apricot really do marry well with an unaged rum. It's the only thing I can kind of come down to. Um, it is nice, it's not as good, but I've done something unprecedented because what I've done, uh, bearing in mind, this one is the Pusses with the Boutique Rum Company and the uh, my other favorite was the, the Pusses with the Communal. What I've done, down here, so this should be in the right order there. I've got, I've got rid of the Pusses and for this video, I've got the OFTD and this one is uh, the Communal, that's the first one. This, I have to say, that's delicious. And I'm really kind of contemplating which is the better one out of Pusses or OFTD. So that's gorgeous. And then the, ob the other second one, obviously, is um, that. And now hopefully they're on camera. I'm not sure they are on camera, but here we go. Let's just put them there. So there. So that was the first one, and that's the second one. Now, this is the um, the Plantation OFTD with the BTQ Rum Company. Direct like for like on this one. I think I think the pusses at OFTD takes it. What I've got, so this is the weird thing, and this is kind of one of how I how I want to dissect this video. Right, the richness level, and that's the only way, word I can really use to describe it, the richness level of the Pusses OFTD, of the Pusses Gunpowder Proof is lovely. It's so much better 
than the uh, than the, the Worthy Park 109. It's so much better. I way prefer the Pusses uh, over the Worthy 109. But even though that's even stronger, 69% over ABV, if you dial it back slightly and then blend it, while that is richer and unctuous, that's the word I'm looking for, unctuous, well, it's actually more balanced than the Pusses Gunpowder Proof. I think the combination for me, I love the Clarin. The Clarin is super delicious. But I think for me, I adore that. I adore, right, let's just put these up front and personal. I adore that combination. Uh, and hopefully that's, I've got OCD, there we go. Hopefully that's the, there we go, boom. I do prefer that. I think that, and, and with that is a close, very, very close second. I, I think the OFTD takes it. I mean, there were so many, co this is the thing, right? When you have two rums to play with, the, the blends are infinite. It, with what I've got behind me there, the blends are infinite, you know, um, and it, it could have been 40, 50, 60, 80 combinations here with just, just taking three dark rums, four if you include Rose Mullion, Christ, hundreds, if you include four dark rums, the combinations there. So you could go on for ages and ages and ages, but I think I would swap. I genuinely think I would swap in this in the Trade Winds cocktail. I genuinely think I would go OFTD and the BTK Rum Company Signature Blend Number 